Dr. Shelley, receptionist here at Grady Veterinary Hospital. And today we're going to discuss some foods that could be potentially toxic to your pet. The first one we'll mention is chocolate. Um, chocolate is bad for your pets because it contains caffeine. And actually, the darker the chocolate, the worse that it is. So dark chocolate is the worst, with milk chocolate coming in next after that, and then white chocolate. Next on the list is xylitol. Xylitol is an artificial sweetener that is found in a lot of gum and in some foods now that also have uh, xylitol put into them, like peanut butter. And I know that's uh, something that a lot of people give medicines to their pets with. So you just want to be careful that xylitol is not in the ingredients. Um, next on the list is grapes and raisins. And those are toxic to pets. However, the amount that it takes to become toxic to pets is unknown. So really, even one grape or raisin um, is considered bad for your Next on the list is onions and garlic. And these are also potentially toxic to your pets, not only in the raw form, but also just remember that they can be found in a lot of foods that are made. And last on the list is nuts. And really, any kind of nuts aren't really good for your pet. There are certain ones that are more toxic than others, but really, uh, with the amount of salt in them, you also just want to keep any type of nuts away from your pet. Um, we get a lot of phone calls here at the hospital, and they say, you know, my pet looks normal, he hasn't had any vomiting or diarrhea. However, those aren't the only things that you may see when your pet gets into these type of things. Um, the fact is that a lot of these foods can affect their livers and their kidney, and so um, you want to call your veterinarian and see what should be done according to the weight of your pet, you know, what food they got into, how long ago it was, and they'll let you know if you should bring your pet in to be seen by a veterinarian or not. If you do uh, need to have your pet seen, likely what they may do is induce vomiting, and again, depending on the amount of toxic food that your pet got into, they may even want your pet to stay overnight and have IV fluid put through um, so they can get the, you know, the, make sure that the kidneys and livers get flushed out with fluids. And, um, and then after that point, they may even want to see your pet back again to test the liver and kidney and make sure that everything looks okay and there's no damaging factors to your pet after that, you know, after they've gotten to that toxic food. Um, so really, the best thing to do is try and keep these um, types of foods out of the way of your pets. Um, we do see a lot of you know, chocolate incidents and those type of things, more so around Easter, around Christmas. Um, but really, you know, all the time, just try and keep these foods up higher, places where your pets can't get because um, it seems that if they have a 